Last week on Land Dad, Ashley and I shared the labor and delivery story, which was quite dramatic. So this week, I wanted to uh, just kind of mention the bag that I took to the hospital. Ashley and I have been watching a lot of those uh, baby videos on YouTube, and uh, a lot of times you'll see what the woman takes to the hospital, and uh, we never did see one that was what the man takes. So. I thought that uh, I would share that. So, um, Ashley has an app on her phone that shows the things that uh, should be taken to the hospital, and it has both um, for she and I. Um, but I just wanted to share what I actually took and what I wish I had. Um, so we were there for three days, uh, three and a half days, and I did not take enough clothes. Uh, I packed enough for two changes, and what I didn't realize is that when you're sitting there in the hospital, uh, there's not really a chance to shower, so you're just kind of wallowing in your own filth for a couple of days until we got up to the recovery room, then we were able to uh, get cleaned off. So that being said, uh, socks and shoes were starting to smell terrible, and I had only taken uh, two changes so um, and I was wearing them you know for three days straight um, so it would have been nice to have had some more comfortable shoes because I was wearing my uh, brown leather shoes um, I took uh, two shirts two pants two underwear all that so my recommendation was take at least three of each pair of clothes and here's the main thing that I wish I had some comfortable shorts or uh, some sweatpants or some you know, night pajama pants, something that would be way more comfortable to sleep in or try to sleep in. Because uh, the first night, um, Ashley's mom stayed with us and she claimed the more comfortable chair. <laughs> it was terrible. And so I was on the floor and there was not much sleep going on, but having stuff in my pockets and a belt on uh, is just not fun. So I uh, definitely recommend some more comfortable pants. And likewise, uh, having some comfortable bedroom shoes would be nice because you're staying in the same little room for a couple of days and it's, it's really uncomfortable to have the same shoes on. And uh, if I had to do it over again, I would not take my all leather shoes because if you don't give them an overnight break, they, uh, <laughs> they smell bad. So uh, that was really the main thing that was an irritant. But other than that, uh, hospital food is very expensive. So uh, I took some snacks and ate them all within uh, the first day and didn't really go out much. I mean, the guy in the hospital, you can leave. You know, you're not bound to the hospital, but what if something happens while you're there? You know, you're out. So uh, the cafeteria food was not very good and at least twice as expensive as it needed to be. Twice as expensive. Of course, uh, contact stuff, glasses. I did brush my teeth every night and uh, every morning. I actually didn't get that chance until the recovery room. So. Um, yeah, it's a lot of things in a typical routine is uh, going to be disrupted. And um, so let's see, what else did I take? Uh, flashlight, that was handy because uh, at night the lights were off and actually was trying to get some sleep. So if you had to do something, it's nice to have that. Um, cell phone charger. I did take my laptop and that was uh, nice. I responded to a lot of comments on there for YouTube videos. Um, they recommend on this app to take a book or a magazine. Uh, one magazine is probably not going to cut it, so I would take uh, a couple of them if you're into magazines. Um, let's see, take some cash. Uh, Ashley was wanting to get some M&Ms at one point, one of her staple foods, and uh, I had already used up my few dollars that I had with me, and so I uh, had to bum some off of the rest of the family. So definitely take some cash to buy stuff while you're in the hospital. 
And let's see, what else did I take in my bag? I didn't sleep on the floor the first night and I went out and purchased a camping mat for the second night. Didn't get to use it because that's when this little stinker was born and we were up all night. Um, but if I had taken that mat the first night, it would have been a much better experience on my part. Uh, so something to sleep on if you don't get the chance to sleep on that terrible uh, chair that was there. So that was nice to have. Along with the sleeping mat, it would have been very nice to have some blankets, or at least a pillow. Um, the nurse said that they're not really supposed to give blankets or pillows to the husband and family, just take care of the uh, wife. And so I was on the floor sleeping on a towel with a couple of towels to cover up with. And so a pillow and a blanket to go along with that sleeping mat would have been fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, definitely bring that. So other than the basic necessities, like uh, brushing teeth and contacts and glasses, uh, I just highly recommend taking a pillow, blanket, and some sleeping clothes, lounge clothes, to make things a whole lot more comfortable because you're not going anywhere for a while. So um, also take a camera, you're gonna want it and uh, be prepared for a long stay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got some things that you took or you might want to take for labor and delivery, um, write those down below. I'd like to hear what you took. This girl is about to fall asleep, so I'm gonna see if I can get her quiet and put her down for a while. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. One last thing I forgot to mention, definitely bring earplugs. There's gonna be a nurse or a doctor in every 15 minutes, so if you want to get any sleep, you need to have earplugs.